back to Love Your Food. This week, because winter seems to just refuse to release us, we have this beautiful warm cheese and broccoli soup. This is a cheddar broccoli soup. Uh, now, you'll have to excuse us, we got a little bit of new camera equipment, and I we haven't quite got the white balance figured out yet, but uh, we're working on that. But uh, let us go with some ingredients. So we are using chicken stock, but you can use vegetable stock, a light stock works best for this. We're going to have some onions, a shallot, we have some celery and a carrot. We have a big old block of medium cheddar. Uh, obviously we have some broccoli here. And then for the roux we have some butter and some flour. We're also going to use a little bit of cream later on, we'll show you that. So starting with the broccoli, uh, we are going to, if you have a really good sharp peeler, we like to peel the outside of the stems off because it's a little tough and uh, sometimes it can hold little pockets of dirt and grit and that sort of thing. So we just like to peel it off. You can also do this with a very sharp knife, although that tends to remove a little more than uh, the peeler will. But uh, this is just uh, to get some of that tough outside skin off of the broccoli and uh, any of those little nooks and crannies that are uh, containing uh, dirt or grit off of your broccoli. And then uh, the next thing we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to treat the florets and the stems a little differently from each other. So you're going to see here we are stopping, we're, we're starting by cutting off all of the uh, florets from the stems. It's kind of like shaving your broccoli. And uh, we're going to we're going to treat those a little differently because uh, those are going to end up in the final soup, whereas the stems are going to get cooked in with the uh, the rest of the veggies and uh, here you see us uh, getting the stems prepared and these are going to get blended in with the soup this uh, this is a soup that gets uh, processed a little bit to get it nice and thick and smooth so we're just going to give these uh, a, a little chop it does take a little longer to cook the stems so we can uh, we can cut them up nice and small it doesn't matter if they're particularly even for this they don't need to look good they are going to get blended later they're going to get uh, completely um, burmixed together to be smooth so uh, the look really doesn't make much difference here we just want them small enough that uh, they'll cook reasonably quickly so we're going to give those a little rough chop And that's our broccoli ready. So now we're going to get our pan on the heat. And we're going to start with a little bit of butter. Again, you can use the uh, smoke, high smoke point oil of your choice if you don't want to use butter. Uh, this recipe um, can easily be vegetarian if you don't use chicken stock. You can do it with vegetable stock, as I said. And now we're going to get our carrot ready. So while that butter is melting over the heat, we're going to get the carrot to about the same size as the broccoli stems that we've already cut up. Because these are going to be the parts of the soup that take the longest to cook. There you go, just a rough chop on those carrots. And then the broccoli and the carrots are going to go right into that uh, pot on the heat. Now that our butter's almost completely melted, and uh, we're just going to get everything, everything going in there. So give it a little stir. Uh, we're going to put the lid on, and we're going to let this cook for a little while. In its, uh, it's going to steam itself a bit, and uh, it's going to get nice and hot. In the meantime, we're going to get our other veggies ready. So the celery, again, a little bit of a rough chop. It's going to end up uh, burr mixed as well, so... It doesn't have to be particularly pretty. You just want it in a nice, small enough state that it's pretty easy to cook. And then the onions, we're just going to cut this into uh, half rings here. And our shallots, again, we are going to... Um, cut into rings and we're actually going to give it a little bit of a chop after that so here's Chef Caleb's just giving it a nice little 
find slice and just grab the root and then give it a little chop. And this is going to just uh, a little more evenly distribute that nice uh, shallotty, slightly sharp flavor through the rest of the soup. And there we go with our shallots. So by the time all of that has been uh, cut and chopped, the broccoli stems and the carrots have had a little bit of time to cook, so they've got a little bit of a head start. So we're going to take our onions and celery and shallots. We're going to add a little bit of salt to our veggies that are already starting to cook in there. And now's a good time to give it a stir. And we're just gonna make sure that gets everything a good coating with the butter. And then in goes our onions, shallots, and celery. So once those are in there, we're all gonna give it another little dash of salt. And now we're going to put the uh, broccoli florets just on top here. We're not going to stir them in. The reason is we just want to steam them a little bit on top of these other veggies. So we're going to put the lid on. And we're just going to let them steam and cook a little bit. We want them not quite as cooked as the rest of it. Uh, because we're going to add these to the soup at the end before we serve. In the meantime, we can get our, uh, our cheese ready. So we're just going to grab this uh, block of cheese. We have a medium old... Uh, we find if you use the very old, when it melts, it gets a little greasy. So we're just going to use the medium old for this. And we're going to give it a grate on the larger um, side of our box grater here. Of course, all the amounts are going to be in the description below, as usual. And if you don't like the bright orange color, you can always use a white cheddar. That is absolutely fine. It doesn't have to be this orange one. We think the color is uh, what everyone expects from a from a broccoli cheese soup. Now, the broccoli florets have had some time to steam in there, and they're getting a little bit more tender, so we're going to take those out. We're just going to let these sit aside. Um, if they're a little underdone to your taste, don't worry. They're going to get a little more cooking later. We're going to add these to the hot soup before we served, and we're going to make sure that they get nice and hot at the end there. So uh, don't, don't worry if they're a little underdone. They will get more cooking later. Uh, we find that if they get overdone, uh, it loses a, a bit of texture, and if they're uh, slightly, bit, uh, slightly crunchy in the soup, the soup just feels a little bit more fresh. So, the veggies are starting to cook a little bit. We're getting a little bit of color on the veggies at the bottom. Uh, the onions are just starting to wilt now. Um, the broccoli stems are starting to so soften a little bit. Uh, everything's got a nice coating of that butter, so what we're going to do is add our flour, and we're going to build the roux on the vegetables. So, uh, the roux is a combination of flour and butter together, or flour and fat together. In this case, we're using butter. And you've seen us do this uh, method before, where we're building it on top of the soup. We did this with the cream uh, turkey soup around uh, New Year's time. And uh, yeah, we're just going to let that flour cook a little bit. We're going to leave that in the pan. We're going to cover it again and let the veggies cook a little bit more and let the roux develop a little bit. Uh, let the butter and the flour combine. Now you can see here, after a little bit of time, it's going to start sticking to the bottom of your pan. So at that point, we're going to start adding a little bit of stock. And you're just going to scrape that up. If uh, you get a little bit of browning at the bottom, that's just fine. Your flour is cooked, your butter is cooked. And uh, if you get a nice, good, stout wooden spoon, you should be able to scrape all those uh, beautiful little crispy bits of roux up. It's uh, As long as it's not burned, it's just a little bit stuck, that's fine. It's We're just deglazing it here. And you can already see how nice and thick that is when it's mixed into that stock. So we're uh, just going to slowly add that stock while we're scraping up all the roux from the bottom of the pan. 
Now that it's all up, we're going to add the rest of our stock, and we're going to let this simmer for a little while. You can already see the effect that roux has on that soup. It's nice and thick. Uh, the vegetables are all cooking nicely, and now uh, we've got our stock in there as well. And the soup has really started to come together now. So cook that covered for a little while. It's going to come out, and now we're going to add the cream. And here is when we burr mix it. And you can see again how nice and thick everything is. That roux has continued to cook in the stock, and everything is nice and rich. So we're just going to give everything a nice, good, long burr mix here. And you do want this to be pretty smooth. There have been some in the past where we like to have a little bit of um, texture or some, you know, some color, some bits of carrot or anything showing. But for this soup in particular, uh, we do like to get it pretty smooth. So you can see Chef Caleb here is giving it a good, long burr mix with our stick blender. If you don't have a stick blender, you can do this in a food processor or a blender. Uh, either one of those is fine, but do be cautious. Uh, you don't want hot soup everywhere. Just make sure you uh, are using your blender uh, as per the instructions. Put a good solid hand on top because hot liquids do tend to splash a little bit more. Uh, and when they do splash, they make uh, a bit more of a dangerous mess. So um, if you are going to use a blender for this instead of... A stick blender, just be cautious. All right, there we go. So we have our soup is now blended. It's nice and smooth. You can see the texture is good and silky in there. And uh, we can just go ahead and add our cheese from there. So we've added our shredded cheese. This is going to melt into the soup pretty, pretty evenly. So uh, you see Chef Caleb here is just going to give it a little stir. And we're just going to give that a little bit of time to melt. If you uh, stir it and you find that uh, there have been some little clumps forming, don't worry, just give it a little, a little poke with your spoon and they'll break up and melt. It's all going to be fine. And then we're just going to let that cook for a little while until all of that cheese is melted. We can keep it at a pretty low heat right now. We don't want anything to burn. We do have that roux in there. We do have the cheese. Um, so once it's nice and hot, uh, it's all cooked through, all the cheese is melted. Now we're going to add back our beautiful broccoli florets that have been steamed lightly. They, they're, they're beautiful and bright green. So we're just going to cook those in. Uh, we're just going to add those into our, uh, into our so uh, soup here. And uh, really, they only have to stay in until they are uh, hot through again. If you decide you want them cooked a little bit more, then leave them in a little bit longer. But at this point, the soup is done. That's it. That's all. We are done already. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the whole recipe. Here we have it uh, with just a little bit of nice red chili pepper on top uh, for a garnish. A beautiful color, nice sharp spicy flavor as well. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes that you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.